No, but all seriously, I mean, I know it churns on butter, it's a diesel and all the rest of it, and it, uh, but it, all, it does actually sound pretty good if you put Lurpak in it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back, and welcome back to another vlog. Today, we're going to have a look at a cheap, 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 like the bird, Range Rover Sport, 3.6 litre V8, runs and churns itself on butter. Now then, as we proceed to the Range Rover, you will notice here, yes, it's a 2009, which is the late model, and the lovely square, rusty tailpipes. Have a look at this. That is what you call the Khan RS600 body kit that goes around the arches. And special attention to this and the red, them red calipers I do believe actually add uh, about 15 horsepower to that. That obviously makes it a tad lighter, um, taking the, obviously weight saving is a massive thing here. Black aluminium wheels obviously make it go and this this has all been done in black as well down here which makes it um, faster it's obviously got the spoiler there and the LED rear light that is a reversing camera which is very helpful and it's absolutely filthy ladies and gentlemen absolutely filthy but what you will notice is as soon as you go like that like that or just go like shit I've got the key on yes there's the key and if you go like that opens up which you're introduced to a fantastic look at that tells you you're in a Range Rover as soon as you walk in ah oh, there's my phone You better get this hold a second right then obviously first things first let's um put your foot on the brake and push the start button there is the butter churn the butter churning we turn that off turn that off no need for all that raving music and let's start with the keyless start and the keyless entry and everything else a fantastic absolutely amazing invention from whoever made it however it's not that good um, for keeping your car safe because apparently car thieves can just come in and just and off they pop now they do that well anyway seat belt on And let's proceed. And there's my phone again. Right, and then immediately, and don't put your phone up there because you won't see the reverse camera. That's an option you paid for. That obviously is going to be irrelevant. Um, the reverse camera is very good. It's working very well. Yes, you can see behind us, and obviously we've got parking sensors. Now the first thing you'll know, the first thing you'll, you'll know, as soon as you get in here, you'll know you're in a Range Rover for two reasons. One, you've got to step up quite high. Two, it tells you it's a Range Rover on the screen. So there you go. We know we're in a Range Rover. But what it doesn't tell you when you get the Range Rover is you're gonna automatically, you're gonna automatically get this attitude, which is like, as a cyclist, have you got a right to be on the road? Do you know I'm in a Range Rover? You're going to get that attitude pretty quickly because obviously you're high up and you're the king of the road now. Um, that's the attitude you're going to adopt. They're just people, obviously, when, you, when you're above someone, everyone's beneath you until you come to a lorry. 
No, but all seriously, I mean, I know it churns on butter, it's a diesel and all the rest of it, and it, but it, all, it does actually sound pretty good if you put Lurpak in it. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm just going to use these paddles here. Big bus there. There. Felt a little bit inferior. But hey, there's a Corsa there, which obviously I'm a boss. Right, let's flick these gears down and see how this goes. Whoa, yeah. Definitely runs better on Lurpak. Definitely. Now with this, with this Range Rover, because it's got the red calipers, it's got the extra 15 brake horsepower, um, it's pretty quick. Oh. oh, come on. Do you not see I'm in a bloody Range Rover? Thanks, mate. Thank you. Yes, I'm in the Range Rover and I'm higher than you, which makes me the boss and you not so. Um, anyway, back to this. What are we, we were saying? With that 3.6 V8 engine, actually, it's a pretty quick car. I can't, I don't know the exact specifics of it all and the, how many brake horsepowers it's got because obviously it is going to be a little bit more because it's got them arches on and the calipers and it's got a spoiler on the top. Um, pretty quick though. I'll tell you what is impressive about this, when, when you go around the corner, you won't turn the steering wheel and it will just turn. But what's more impressive than that is the um, is the stability control. It's a very strange feeling because you don't feel like you're going around the corner. Like you know with a, when you're in a big car and obviously I'm very high up and it, it, it should feel like the, the body roll. Ah, it's going to throw you over, but it actually doesn't. It keeps it pretty still, pretty steady. It does. Oh, what's going on here? Come on, mate. Why do you live there? Do you not know I'm in a Range Rover? You can't just stop in the road and put into your house when I'm behind you. I'm in a bloody Range Rover. So what were we saying? Yeah, this um, stability control, brilliant. I think it's brilliant. In all fairness. For 2010 or 259 split hairs you know I don't need to indicate mate I'm in a Range Rover um, 59 but it's a 2010 model you know they change on 59 um, so yeah there's obviously that discrepancy split a hair for that one and let's move on with the sat nav the sat nav I will give it to this car for a 5010 model. It's pretty good, actually. It gets you to where you want to go, and it does actually have the option of using it while you're moving, which is a good thing, because in the predecessor to this, you had to be sensible and stop before you use the sat nav. With this, not so sensible, it's good. But it does take you to where you want to go and it gives you a couple of options on how to get there. Which is, you know, if you want to go one way or you want to go the other way. It's whatever way you want to go, we'll get you there. Thank you Range Rover, brilliant. I'll let you go because I'm in a Range Rover and I can be nice because I'm in a Range Rover. You don't have to be a hole. So here we go, I'm going to go around this bend here. Absolutely no body roll at all. Yep, no body roll. Fantastic, oh fantastic. We like that. And here we go on a run. Check out some power. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to just pop this cruise control on, because this is an amazing feature in this car. I don't know if it's modern or not. My Lamborghini hasn't got it, that's too good. Um, the cruise control, what you can do is, I don't know if you can see here, but just like here, 
there is these two buttons and that what we'll do is let you closer or further to the car in front very intelligent and obviously you can speed up or you can slow down brilliant that's some good stuff that's some pretty good stuff in all fairness and let's move on from that one then Cruise control is brilliant, and we're going to cancel that now. Let's cancel. That's good. You do feel, I mean, all joking aside, you do feel like you're in something a little bit newer than what you are. This, the predecessor of this car, I mean, the interior of it's a lot nicer. The, the dash is all laid out a bit better. It's laid out a little bit more. Um, oh, they have to stop now. They? they obviously didn't look and see. I was in a Range Rover, and I had the right of way. let you off for that one but anyway next time please don't do that again and yeah on the predecessor and the predecessor this wasn't that nice but this one's a lot nicer so everything's laid out very nice you can see I'll do a little b-roll with a with with clock and sat nav and everything like that on there so you can see all that and um, it looks a little bit you can see where the newer one they haven't really changed it much on the newer one like 2014 I haven't really changed it that much on that one. It's pretty much kept it the same. I think the steering wheel's a little bit nicer. This steering wheel's not bad. It's not bad, but it's... I'm going to indicate now. It's nice. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's got the paddles. Not going to break your neck like, but it's... You know, I suppose if you want to use your paddles, you can use your paddles. And... What else is there on this car? Speedo obviously tells you how far it's going. What is different from the older one as well is the the centre of the dash thing here. It's got the speedo and the rev counter. That's digital. It obviously looks a lot nicer than the, the older one. And I think it's pretty much like the new newer one. Not the new new one, the 2014. That's um that's pretty nice too. And also on that what happens is you know when I was telling you about the um, cruise control and how that you can adjust the, you can adjust the, the distance from the car in front you want to be um, comes up on there tells you gives you the distances etc uh, aircon it's pretty standard oh fridge <laughs> now the fridge now I always thought, what's the point in having a fridge in a car, but to be fair, if you want to put a drink in the car, the best place to put it is in the fridge. And the fridge works really well, it's really cold. And what we also have in the fridge is an iPod collection and a USB. And don't forget guys, this is a 2050-10 car, which impressive it's got that really yes it's quite impressive it's got that oh, public transport can they not see obviously I've got the right to just overtake this now because I'm in a Range Rover and even though you're indicating mate but I am in the Range Rover and you're on the bus so yeah we will with that I think um, You know, it's an it's it's a lot of car for the money. You feel like you're in something a lot better. It's a little bit dated on the outside, or maybe very dated, but the interior does make does make up for that. And I think that is about it. Apart from the sound system, is um, the AV radio. Can't keep that off too long because YouTube won't like it and they'll say I'm playing someone else's music. Um, but yes, the sound sound system is very good. I think this is the um, Harman Kardon. This is the Harman Kardon sound system, which is lovely. And most of all, with this car, thanks, mate. 
he obviously saw I was in a Range Rover then and went, I'm gonna let you go. Um, yeah, the Harman Kardon sound system's brilliant. It's obviously got a six CD changer, Bluetooth stereo, Bluetooth phone active, full extended leather throughout. And the leather on these is nice. It is nice. Well done, Range Rover, for making an armchair on wheels. Well, people of YouTube, I hope you enjoyed my video for today. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have plenty more content coming up. Next week, I'm picking up my Lamborghini from being wrapped. Yeah. And yes, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video if you feel you want to. And also, leave a comment on if you think I should do anything to this car, like blow it up, let the tires down, whatever it is, leave a comment. Well, take this as a bit of tongue in cheek guys, this is all a bit of a joke. What more can you say about a 2010 59 Range Rover Sport, autobiography, 3.6 V8 Butter Churner. See you soon, guys.